Hi, I'm Andrew Gregory. Hi, I'm Mike Saunders. Hi, I'm Ben Everard. You may know us from the Linux Lifestyle podcast, uh, but we also used to work on a magazine called Linux Format. Linux Format was the uh, biggest selling and also, dare I say it, the best magazine about free software and Linux in the English language. Definitely. I had a great time working on Linux Format and we did some fantastic things. We interviewed Linus Torvalds at his house. Linus Torvalds, the creator of the Linux kernel at his house in the USA. Uh, he almost chucked us out when he discovered that we were using an old iPhone for recording the audio. <laughs> We've, um, we reported on CERN, on the use of Linux in the hunt for the Higgs boson. We were also the first Linux publication to give uh, prominent coverage to the Raspberry Pi, the tiny Linux powered machine that's bringing computer science into the heart of schools up, up and down the country. I've been writing for Linux format since the very first issue, and actually before that in Linux Answers, the pilot issue. I've written hundreds of pages of tutorials and features and reviews, and I've loved every minute of it, being part of this community, hearing from the readers. And I'm also a really passionate free software developer as well. I've written my own operating system, MicroS, as some of you might have heard, because I reference it a lot in my articles. Uh, but we're not just writers about free software, we're also really enthusiastic users. Before I started working for Linux Format, I ran a social enterprise in Tanzania installing Linux computers in schools. So I really understand the power that free software can have to really bring change to people's lives. And I've used the herd many times. <laughs> <laughs> but recently, three of us from the magazine have left. And that's because we want to do something different. We want to make a very different kind of Linux magazine. And that magazine is Linux Voice. Linux Voice will be different in three key areas. Number one, we are going to give 50% of our profits back to the community. That's back to developers, back to events, back to the groups that defend our online freedoms. And number two, we'll put all of our content online after nine months. So schools can benefit, lugs can benefit from it, everyone can take it and build upon it and make more awesome free software. And thirdly, we're not going to be part of some giant publishing corporation telling us what to do. We won't be beholden to a board of directors and we won't have any shareholders interfering with our activities. The most important people to us are the readers. This is going to be an amazing magazine. We know how to make Linux magazines. We've done it so much, but we have so many great ideas. We can, we can do something completely amazing, but we need your help to do it, which is why we've gone to crowdfunding. So join us. The campaign runs until the 23rd of December. We need to get our funding by that date. That's just two days before Christmas. It is, exactly, yeah. Linux Voice sounds like a great Christmas present for the geek in your life. Tell your friends. Tell your lug. Tell your family. Tell everybody, yeah. And together we can make this happen. So thanks for listening and we'll keep you updated. Thanks.